This is Eugene Panrukovich on the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Aspire 5755 laptop computer with a cracked screen and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an Acer Aspire 5755 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other computer, we need to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. And in order to do that, we need to, we need to flip the laptop over and flip the battery out. Um, this laptop is a little bit different from some of the other laptops. Usually you can use your finger with a sliding lever to lift the battery out, but this one they require some sort of pen or screwdriver to reach in the opening down here and then slide the lever and then lift the battery out. Uh, not too big a deal, but slightly different than usual. Okay, also while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number because you cannot find it on top if the original sticker that you get when it's brand new is removed. So let's zoom in. There's a label has Acer on it. And it says Acer, and it says Aspire 5755 series. 5755 series. That's where you find the model number. Okay, there's also another number that's P5WE0, but that's not the one you need. You can look it up from there, but that's not the one you need. You want the 5755. Okay, we flip the laptop over, open it up. And next, we, what we need to do is remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, we need to remove the two screws at the bottom of the laptop that are hiding behind some plastic covers. So before we start that, we'll go over the tools we need. We need some electronics screwdrivers. Uh, PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. A smaller PH00 screwdriver for any screws that are smaller perhaps. And a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver which we probably won't use this time but sometimes it's useful to get to screws at an angle or to pry things off. We also need a exacto knife or a hobby knife to remove the plastic screw covers and a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the plastic screw covers with our exacto knife. And what I like to do with them is put them right next to the screw opening so that I don't lose them. One and two. Okay, next what we want to do is remove the two screws at the bottom and we we'll use our PH1 screwdriver. One and two. And what we'll like to do with each set of screws is put them in the separate piles and put the piles in the order in which I remove the screws. That way it's easier to keep track of all the screws when you're assembling the laptop again. Okay, once we do that, the next step is to snap off the plastic bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, so take your time on this. And what I like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic bezel and start and listen for the snapping sounds. Once you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. So start going around the screen. If you get stuck at a spot, keep moving. Find another spot where it's working, and then come back to the spot that you're stuck at. Typically, the corners is where you get stuck at the most. So what I like to do is lift up the other part, and sometimes it's easier to get to the corners. So go on the bottom, keep lifting, like so. And like so. And one trick is for the chorus is, is kind of pull outward, 
pull outward towards the corner and then pull out. And that way you can get the corners. So I'm going to try this trick again. Pull outward and out. And, up. and I can get the bezel off this way. Okay, so once the bezel is removed, we put the bezel to the side and we look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side of the screen. So you want to remove these screws and we want to see how accessible these screws are. And in this case, we're fairly lucky they're pretty accessible except in the middle part where there's a piece of plastic blocking it. So in this case, what I like to do is tilt the screen forward a little bit so I can get to the screws better. And what I like to do for that is remove the two screws that are holding the metal mounting bracket at the top. And we use our PH1 screwdriver again. So one and two, like so. Next, we gently tilt the screen forward like this, and now all the three, all the screws on each side are accessible. So we start with the bottom screw and work our way up. One, two, and three. And when you're doing this, make sure the screen is tilted back a little bit because when you remove all the screws, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you and damage some cables. So make sure it's tilted backward. So here we go one and two and three. Okay, once we do that, once all the screws are removed, we gently start tilting the screen forward and right away we see that there's some adhesive holding the webcam cable to the screen. So we gently lift up the webcam cable from the screen and there's some more adhesive on the bottom so we remove that so we can lay the screen down like this. Once we do that, all we have to do is remove this connection that goes to the screen and the screen is out. So in this case, there's some adhesive tape that we need to lift up on top of the connector. We gently lift it up like so. One. And two. Almost there. And we also lift up the cable. There's some adhesive cable, adhesive on the back of this cable that we want to lift it up before we remove the connector. So we just lift it up. In this case, it's pretty strong adhesive and you don't want to damage the cable. And we finally got it. Okay, once you do that, you slide the connector backwards and out, like so and the screen is free. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in because this is the biggest source of trouble that I see. So when you slide the connector in, you should feel, but not hear, two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And also, let's take a look at what it's supposed to look like, what a proper connection is supposed to look like. Okay, here's a good shot. You don't want a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam. So, seam. So put the, freeze the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this when you're done. Okay, so next, put our camera back on. Remove the connector again. And let's take a look at the screen. Uh, this is a 15.6 inch LED screen. 
As of early 2012, this is the most common screen out there for laptops, so you should not have trouble finding it. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. That's all you need to know. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support. So when you do the installation, you can send us email and we'll help you out if you get stuck. Also, we have a two-year warranty on our screens, and we have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship you is not compatible, we'll send you the replacement one at no cost. Also, if you're not in the United States, uh, we can ship the screen to you. We ship all over the world, so just go through the regular process of buying the screen, and we'll ship the screen to you. To buy the screen from us, um, go to www.screensurgeons.com click buy a screen then there will be a short form for you to fill out we just need your email address and the laptop model number and then we'll send you um, we'll send you the link to the right screen to buy it online also uh, we have this exact toolkit available for sale online and you'll see it when you buy your screen if you need the tools. Okay, once you do receive the screen, connect this as I showed you, then put the screws in on each side of the screen, then put the screws in on top here, then you uh, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in on the bottom and the screw covers and you should be done and your laptop should be as good as new. All right, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.